kind of an MVP performance at the end. I mean, he he stepped up and he made he made the plays. I mean, uh, when he got that his fifth foul call, it's like the light went off and uh, went on, and he just turned it up a notch, which we we needed it desperately. Coach, how important was Jr.'s contribution tonight to the victory? Big time. I mean, Jr.'s been he's had three steady games for us, which is, is really nice. I mean, and I'm playing it. You know, in long stretches, minutes-wise, and I gotta, I gotta figure that out because I gotta have him where he's fresh coming down the stretch to be able to, you know, still make plays. How much different is it like going to going to the West Coast these three games, having won in this fashion rather than going on the road having lost three out of four? Well, this is what we call a getaway game, and you know, this is uh, this was a game we desperately we had to get and. The way we started the game and and ended the, the, the first half, well, I didn't, you know, we were we were struggling. They were playing extremely well, and I thought in the third and fourth quarter our defense really <laughs> held us in there until we started to make some shots and, and was really the key coming down the stretch in this winter. Coach, this is the sixth time this season that the teams come back from being down double figures. What is it that this team has that's that enabled them to do that? Well, I, I think when it, when that starts to happen, you just feel like you know, when, when you're down, you can you can make runs and get back in, in, in the game. And you know we're good enough team to do that. You know, but I don't like living on that. So I mean, I, especially here at home. I mean, we you know we've had to play from behind these last two games, and it caught us in the Chicago game. So um, you know we got to come out and start with better starts than we had have in the last two games because that's it's not good getting down to teams like that and trying to fight back all the time. Similar to what Tina said, I mean, you guys get a tough night from down the arc, and I think you also got out-rebounded significantly, but you find a way to win the game. What does that say about your group? Well, I mean, they're all about winning, and that's what it's all about. I mean, I don't think we could ever be out of a game. I mean, we haven't shown that sign this season, and, and we won some tight games, and then we won games when we had them down and fall back uh, to win. So it's it, it's the fight in our team, and you know that says a lot. And you know, the fact that we still have a long way to go, I'm sure there's going to be some more games like that as we go along. But as long as we come out on the winning end, I'm, I don't care how it plays out. You know, Mike uh, Carmelo with the five fouls. Are you starting to wonder if the refs are looking at him a little tougher than? Well, again, I'm not going to go there with the officials. You know, it's, you know, I, I thought the game was called, you know, close to, again tonight. And, 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 hey, we just adjusted. And Melo, I thought, did a great job in adjusting and just playing. Um, you know, he made the plays. He made three big plays coming down the stretch at the rim that, that uh, he finished. And uh, a few, few plays he got, you know, he got the fouls called. And, you just got to play, and everybody's got to play. You got to leave the officials alone and just play. Mike, you, you beat yourself up pretty good about the text the other day. You got another one? <laughs> I can't even remember. Did I get one? <laughs> yeah, I got to slow down on that. That's, that's not good for our team.